Since Valentine's Day is right across the corner, I wanted to create this really pretty, wearable and uh, you know like beginner friendly soft glam makeup look with a little bit of a different touch. So lately on the internet, uh, there's been so many graphic eyeshadow looks and I just wanted to create my version of it which is very simple and easy and beginner friendly. I have a couple of new products that I'll be trying out today and all the products I've used in today's video will be very very affordable that I got from Amazon. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started. As always say skincare is really important so never skip on your skincare and always start off with a fresh cleansed and moisturized face. First I'm taking this Cal Instabeam Illuminating Primer Oil. Uh, this is basically like a oil and illuminator you know mixed into one. It just moisturizes my face at the same time it also provides a beautiful glow onto my face. So I'm going to take around two pumps of this and just massage it into my skin. Next, I'm gonna use the Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer and uh, you know, I'm just going to apply this on the areas where I have larger pores and some texture. This is a beautiful product to, you know, cover up any of your imperfections and also gives a even toned look. So yeah, I really like this product. And then I'm taking the Inside Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. I'm going to take this uh, orange shade and I'm going to use this to cover up all of my pigmentation, my acne scars and uh, also underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. So next on my foundation, I'm using the Forever 52 foundation and this is a liquid foundation. I'm first going to dot it all around my face and then with the help of a beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend everything out. This is a medium to you know buildable full coverage foundation and also it's a satin finish foundation so which looks quite natural on the skin. And then for my concealer, I'm taking the Lakme 9 to 5 Primer Plus Matte Liquid Concealer. Again, this is a medium coverage concealer. It's quite hydrating and also doesn't dry out my under eyes. So I'm just using it on the usual areas to highlight my face. So if you guys have been following me, you know that I absolutely love highlighting my face. It just like brings forth your, you know, the features, enhances your features at the same time, brightens your face up so beautifully. And to set my concealer in place, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me uh, loose powder and I'm just going to take some product. I'm just going to press the powder on the areas where I want to conceal. And moving on to my brows, I got this Swiss Beauty, you know, eyebrow gel recently and I have been seeing like, you know, feathered uh, brows that's so much in trend now. I wanted to like try that out and I'm also taking my, you know, favorite Swiss Beauty eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas. And moving on to my eyeshadow, I'm first taking this Swiss Beauty blusher and it's in the shade Soft Nude. It's such a beautiful beige pinky brown shade uh, which looks absolutely stunning with the eye look that I'm going for today. And I'm going to take this all over my crease. I'm going to drag it all the way up to my inner corners on my nose uh, to just get that fierce look. And I'm also going to wing uh, the outer corners. And then I'm taking this fluffy brush to blend everything out. Again, I'm going to drag uh, you know my fluffy brush up to my nose as well to give that nice fierce look. And next I'm taking the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna take this very shade from the palette and with the help of you know a liner brush I'm going to do a wing and I'm going to extend the wing and do almost like a wing on my crease and I'm also going to apply on my lash pan. Uh, so this is a process you guys that this took some time for me to apply since this is the first time me creating this kind of look and uh, again with the help of this you know smudger brush I'm just going to uh, smudge my eyeshadow like that on the outer crease so it doesn't look as harsh then from the palette i'm taking this champagne you know shimmery shade it almost looked like a pink champagne and i'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and again i'm also going to intensify with some um you know setting spray i'm going to go back with that berry shade and uh, i'm just going to intensify those lines and yeah this is again a whole process you guys just you know going back and forth like slowly blend and apply the product but trust me it, it is very very easy 
and then i'm going to just you know curl my lashes as usual and uh, then apply this you know mars fab lash mascara this is my you know one of my favorite mascaras And then for moving on to my face, I'm using this sugar mini bronzer in Woody Wonder. And I'm just going to apply this, you know, on the areas where I want to define. This is a beautiful uh, product to bronze and contour my face at the same time. Uh, and also the shade is perfect. It's not too dark, nor it's too light. So it's perfect for such soft tone looks. And then moving on to my blush, I'm going to take the same, uh, you know, Swiss Beauty blush that we use in my crease. And it's such a pretty, you know, pinky brown shade. Uh, looks absolutely stunning on almost every skin tone. Uh, and I'm just going to apply this, you know, on the outer perimeters of my face. And also take a little bit on my cheeks. Then with the help of a sponge, I'm going to blend everything out. So in case you have, like, you know, use a little more because I just tend to use blush a lot. And this just, you know, like, settles down everything. And then for my lips, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Chestnut. This is my absolute favorite, you know, lip lip liner shade. And then to fill in, I'm taking the you know Kiro Beauty Eddy Mac Liquid Lipstick in the shade Peachy Nude. For my highlighter today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This again my latest purchase and uh, I'm just going to apply this on my nose, my inner corners, uh, my cupid's bow and also on my chin. I felt like I was adding a little bit of a gloss so I'm using the Selene Tease Lip Gloss to just add some shine. And then to set my makeup in place, I'm taking this NY Bay Dewy Setting Spray. Um, and again, I'm going to go back to the same highlighter and just apply this on my cheekbones and my forehead. So the reason why I'm doing this after my setting spray is because, you know, this just makes your highlighter pop a little more and also not look as powdery. So yeah guys, this is my completed look. I also added some lashes behind the camera. These are the, you know, pack lashes in N70. And all the product, uh, you know, details will be mentioned down in my description. So please do check that out. And uh, I just absolutely love how this makeup turned out. It's very simple. It's subtle. But at the same time, it's a little different, you know, compared to your regular eyeshadow application. And I hope this video was helpful and you learned something new. And if you enjoyed today's video, definitely give a like. And also take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And and I'm going to catch you all next time with another interesting one. Until then, stay safe. Bye, guys.